Hey kids, it's Mr. and Fly. Yeah. Hope you're well and uh, welcome to, well, quite a different video. As you can see, we're not in Great Missenden, but you find us on the sunny Spanish island of Mallorca, a place that me and Mrs. Fly know quite well. We've visited it quite a lot over the last 10 years. It's an absolutely staggeringly beautiful place and we hope to show you a bit of that today as well as get used to riding this little Vespa. So stick around and stay tuned. Let's see what we get up to. Okay, so welcome back to the channel, folks. And uh, if you're watching this on a dreary November day, I hope this video will give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of a lift as to what riding in nice weather's like today. It's a little bit murky looking, but it's uh, around about 30 degrees, so it's really flipping hot. And of course, if you're familiar with uh, riding in Mediterranean countries, particularly tourists that hire scooters, which effectively is what we are today, then uh, normally you'll see that they ride in flip-flops and uh, t-shirts. Well, we're not. We're in jackets and helmets and everything else. All the gear all the time and all that kind of caper. So it's pretty flipping warm. Now you find us in Mallorca in the beautiful port of Sawyer. Port Sawyer, this is. Amazing views to my left. And we're heading up towards a lighthouse which is around all these hairpins so it's a bit of a baptism of fire on the bike but when we get to the top there's the lighthouse up there we'll uh, stop and show you the bike some absolutely cracking views of the port as we wend our way up towards the uh, lighthouse as I say I've visited here been lucky enough to visit here quite a lot in the last 10 years I've walked up this road many times and I have to say it is an awful lot easier riding up here on a bike I don't know why I haven't ridden a scooter here before. I'm on the Vespa 300, uh, rented from the port here. A place called Bullimoto do rentals. It's cost me 50 quid to rent the bike for the day. But as it's a 300, you know, it's, it's relatively powerful for a scooter. So I've got Mrs. Flyer on the back. And we're just gonna enjoy touring around the local area today on this bike. Anyway, nearly up to the lighthouse. We'll uh, park up at the top here and we'll show you this beast. All right, so we made it to the lighthouse. You can see it there behind me. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you can't actually get any closer to the lighthouse, but uh, we mainly came up here because I want to show you around the bike. Here it is, and here's Hello. Mrs. Flyer stood behind it. This is the mighty Vespa. This is a GTS 300, this year's model, so the latest one. Uh, absolutely love the look of it, proper Italian. We've only driven it up the hill so far. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. F, what do you make of it? Oh, it's great. It's a great way to get around. Beats a car, nimble. Absolutely. Any day, two wheels pizza car, doesn't it? Yeah. So quickly show you this thing. Um, we had a choice, didn't we, of colours, sort of a yellow, a blue, a black, and this, which is the green. We like this. It's kind of proper Italian cool. looking, I think. Uh, and as in, you know, like many scooters, it's super practical. We've got a little top box, which we've got some bits and pieces in. Loads of room under the seat. We've got, if I put that into that there, press that. Bingo, loads of storage under there for all our camera kit and what have you. It's got a yeah. full tank of fuel, and we've got a spare day. So we're going to enjoy riding around the island, and we'll take you with us. All right, we're just suiting up for the start of our trip. This this point here at the uh, lighthouse is actually the start of some great walks, which I've done a few times. If you go, basically there's a mountain trail that goes along that way to a place called Daya, which we may well be visiting a bit later, but by road. Right then, let's get this beast back on the road. Actually, I'll just run the camera as we, as we leave the lighthouse here, because check out the view here. That is Port Sawyer. And uh, in common with many towns in Mallorca, you have a port and an associated main town, so this is Port Sawyer and we'll head next to the town of Sawyer itself, which is away from the coast, just a few miles inland. We'll go and see if we can find ourselves a drink, because it's getting pretty hot up here. Well, this is a very civilised way to travel, I must say. Not sure I'd fancy these hairpins on me gold wing. Oh, look at that view, eh? Gorgeous. So we're just wending our way towards the town now on these back roads. We get onto a slightly faster road in a minute so we can see what the uh, Vespa's like on quicker bits of tarmac. But uh, one of the standard routes to get from Port Sawyer to the town of Sawyer is on a tram. We may see it, there's a little tram track that goes between the port and the town and it's a favourite way for tourists and locals indeed to, uh, to move between the two. It's great fun and I think they might actually be uh, Ex-San Francisco trams, I'm not sure about that, but uh, they look a similar sort of deal. We may get to see one, you never know. Anyway, coming up to the main road in a second. And here you see the uh, 
the tram track that we're about to cross. Right, unfortunately, I'm stuck behind this micro, so we're not going to be able to wind the uh, Vespa fully up to see what she's got. But uh, this one's the 300cc, something like 25 brake horsepower, 24.8, I think, if I'm being pedantic. And I have to say, with two up, it feels pretty good. Absolutely perfect for this sort of uh, local island touring type duties. The speedo on here, of course, is in kilometres an hour, so I'm only actually doing 30 miles an hour at the moment. So hardly whipping along, but uh, it feels like there's plenty enough there. We're actually filming this in uh, late September, and as you can see, the visibility is not so good at the mountains. Don't be misled by how this looks, though, because it's really flipping hot today. Unlike the Canary Islands where I ride a lot, which is kind of warm all year round, Mallorca does get colder, of course, in the winter, it being that much further north. Mallorca is basically uh, about an hour off of Barcelona, depending on how you're doing it. An hour by light aircraft, <laughs> six hours by boat. All right, so we're just uh, coming into town now. Let's maybe go and see if we can find a bit of a drink. So one of the great things about Mallorca, like uh, pretty much everywhere else in Spain actually, is uh, you know very biker friendly. So we just found a bike spot back there to stick the uh, scooter. No cost of course, and it's perfectly safe to leave the bike there all day, so all good. Right, so uh, just making our way to the central square, where Carol will enlighten us with some stories of what goes on there each year. So here we are in the town square of Sawyer. It's an amazing place. We're actually recording this on a Sunday, uh, and just check out how busy it is. And that is nothing compared to how it gets in the peak time, I have to say. Anyway, uh, we've been, been lucky enough to be here a few times, I mean, including something very special that we were here for yeah. a couple of years ago, weren't we? Uh, well, it was last year in May, Firo Festival. It's bigger than Christmas for the locals, and it commemorates when uh, the local Christians repelled the Moorish invaders. Um, and it, it, there's big uh, events here, and it ends up with a running battle on the beach, which is quite incredible. And it literally is a running battle, isn't it? Yeah. I'll put some pictures in here yeah. of, uh, of what we saw. We were staggered. It wouldn't be allowed in the UK, would it? No. Health and safety, it was truly amazing to see, and they love a festival. And they asked us to bring our own gunpowder, didn't they? And blunderbusses were banned this year. Well, no, shotguns were banned, weren't they? Yeah. But blunderbusses were allowed. Firecrackers, the smoke, the noise, fantastic. It was hilarious. <laughs> So welcome back aboard the mighty Vespa GTS 300 where you join us on the road from Sawyer to Dea, Dea spelt D-E-I-A. It's basically just the one road that goes from Sawyer to Dea. So uh, even though I haven't got uh, my beeline or a sat nav, hopefully we won't get lost. It's just a, a lovely ride along here. I've done this in the car a number of times, much better on two wheels. Uh, I've also, as I think I mentioned before, walked it from that lighthouse. You can walk along the coastal path, doesn't take too long. But it is uh, by road, it's something like uh, 20 miles, something like that. Nowhere near as far as that, obviously, when you walk it direct on the path. But it is a beautiful ride. Very popular Mallorca with cyclists. For all the same reasons that motorcyclists like roads cyclists like them too and I think a lot of guys I don't know much about actual cycling but I think a lot of the Tour de France guys come off season to practice here in Mallorca you can't blame them can you right Daya here we come rather a splendid villa over there I don't know if you saw that uh, series on the box a few years back called the night manager it was a, an excellent program and uh, the villa they had on that was actually in this area on Mallorca not sure exactly where it's Dea or Valdemosa around here somewhere if I happened to spot it I'll point it out but 
That's not too shabby, is it? Oh, it's actually a hotel. Very nice. I really do like Mallorca. It's uh, only a couple of hours flight, maybe two hours 15 I think from uh, from Luton Airport, where we came from. And it's a beautiful island, this northern coast in particular. It's just without wishing to decry any other Spanish island, and I've not been to them all, it just feels a bit more upmarket here. It's thoroughly civilised. This bike is fantastic with two of us on it. I think the weight of the bike is 158 kilograms, so uh, it's light compared to motorcycles I'm used to riding, of course. But because it's a scooter and the engine and everything is all low down, the centre of gravity is very low. It means it's extremely easy to move around. I mean, you whip it around like a bicycle when it's just, uh, you know, you moving it. The only thing is that it turns in a bit strange because the little wheels, so you just get used to that. But uh, for this sort of thing, you can see why there's such a hit with the uh, tourist type companies. If you're just, you know, taking in the views, not riding for riding's sake, but enjoying the surrounding areas, then it's uh, absolutely brilliant. Right, we are in the Ombrons of uh, Dea now. Here is the village up on this hill. It's absolutely amazing looking place. So we just passed on our left before I turned the camera on. Uh, the house where Robert Graves, the uh, English poet, used to live. He was one of the first to settle the village, apparently. And according to Wikipedia, this was a very popular spot with uh, incoming Brits and Germans. And you can see why, just look at it. Lovely spot. So this is uh, Daya Village, if you like, the touristy bit of. And uh, has great memories for me and Mrs Flyer, because when we first came to Mallorca about 20 years ago, we came here when our kids were little, they're only three, we've got twin daughters, and we came up to... Uh, a little tapas place just up here on the left. What a glorious place to ride a motorcycle, eh? Fabulous. And this here with the white sort of sheets hanging up for shade is uh, the little tapas place that we came to all those years ago. Happy memories. Right, we're going to see if we can find our way to uh, to the beach. Which I imagine will be pretty busy. So we seem to have failed to find the road to the beach, unfortunately, at Daya. Easily missed. I think it's only a track down there. It's not actually a, a big beach or anything like that. Probably quite hard to get to. But anyway, we're continuing along this main road, which is now considerably less twisty, which is quite nice because we can make some progress. And this takes us on to a place called Valdemossa, which is another, well, very touristy spot, but it's very lovely. So we're going to try and head up that way. So we've just taken a little off-piste decision. We've taken a right turn to head towards the uh, port of Valdemossa. We've never been there before, actually. We've been to Valdemossa before, but we're going to check out the port. I don't think there's too much there. Uh, is it down here? Yeah, down here. Whoop. Nearly missed the turn. Could be a bit hairy down here, but it might be our uh, our excuse to see the sea. Now, a friend of ours who we were out with last night mentioned that we should try the port if we've not been here before. She did say it was particularly uh, hairpinny. I'd rather be doing this on a scooter than in a car, I must say. It's one of those roads. Might be busier down here than I thought. This road, the fact that it's got white lines in the middle is hilarious. So I don't know if you can see up there with a the GoPro. There's just a couple of uh, mountain goats up here, look. 
cute, isn't they? Oh. Three, in fact. Mum. Splendid. Right, onwards. Now, our friend did say, beware, there are some hairpins, and, uh, well, they don't come much steeper than this. <laughs> As ever, I imagine the GoPro will be smoothing this out, but, uh, yeah, not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, Carol, I don't think we'd do this on the gold wing. No. <laughs> Yeah, this is not a big bike road. I keep wanting to go for a clutch, it's most bizarre. Holy moly. down here is certainly give been given the brake some uh, what for down here and uh, it's interesting because on the scooter of course the back brake is a lot more efficient than the front because all the weight is over the back wheel the engine and us basically you use the back brake a lot more than you do on a normal motorbike it also stops the uh, possibility of braking locking up the front wheel and going over the front of course although I imagine that's probably quite hard to do this bike has got traction control, by the way, which you can turn off, which I think is quite amusing. Okay, I think we've made it to uh, the port of Valdemossa, somewhere we've never been before. Let's see if we can park the bike up. Have a look. Well, that was definitely worth the effort. Okay, so we found a spot at uh, Port Valdemossa to leave the bike just here, which is rather handy. And uh, I was saying to Carol, this isn't the sort of place that you want to bring your wing down that windy road. Well, look what's here. It's only a, uh, at least a 2018 gold wing. Somebody's been very brave. Check out the, uh, <laughs> the spats of rain spats on there. But uh, yeah, there you go. There are some people that are much braver than me where with regards to where they'll take their gold wing. Anyway. It's absolutely blisteringly warm out here. There are people here, as you can see, going in the water. Guess where I'm going. So I think there's only one thing for me and Mrs. Flyer to do, that is to get our kit off and get in there. I got my bags packed, timeline on track. My winter coat stuck in the closet way back. I won't be needing that, I won't be needing that. Oh. I'm ready to fly. Dinner is served, check this out. Lovely salad. Mm. Right, well thank you, Port Valdemossa. What a lovely little spot. Let's fire this beast up, turn her on, hold the brake, press the start button, and we're off.
right, folks, well, welcome to Valdemossa. We uh, rode back from Port Valdemossa up the uh, highly frightening hairpinish bit. <laughs> and actually, I think it was a bit easier going up, wasn't yes, it? Yes, definitely, yeah. yeah. And also, weirdly, we went through, number one, the microphone didn't work, which is why I'm telling you about it, because I did explain this on the bit you just saw music over. But uh, we went through some pockets of weirdly cool air, didn't we? Yeah. It was, I mean, it... properly cold. It dropped like five, ten degrees. Yeah, and it was beautiful. It was brilliant. <laughs> anyway, what can you tell us about Valdemossa then, Carol? Uh, it attracts quite a lot of tourists who yeah. come to Mallorca, so it's quite touristy. It's, it's famous for the visit of Frederick Chopin staying here, 1858 onwards. Well, in fact, according to our guidebook, yeah. you can argue that uh, th his visit started tourism here on Mallorca because there was a book written. He came here with his mistress, didn't he? Yeah. And they hated it, apparently. Did you read that bit in the guidebook? Uh, yeah. Apparently he hated it. It was miserable. It. Yeah. <laughs> there was a book written about it, which is now a bestseller, um, and well, if he came here now, I think he would love it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Looks really nice. Um, and there's a monastery as, as well here. I think there might be more than one, actually. But, yes. Uh, anyway, we'll have a wander around, see if we can find a nice cream stop, mm. I think. So we've had a bit of a look around Chopin's old stomping ground. Had a bit of Chopin, in fact, in the church we were yes. in just now. I think now what we need to do is find an ice cream, don't you? Definitely. And then that'll be mission accomplished. Yay! So that's the best ice cream place in Valdemossa. And we've decided we want an ice cream less than we want to stand in that queue. So uh, <laughs> we're going to go and find a coffee instead. Things are looking up. We've had an ice cream place around the corner without a queue. Well done, Mrs. Fly. Don't tell me. You've gone for mint. I and, am not uh, predictable. Two birds with one stone. I've actually gone for a coffee ice cream. So it is mission accomplished. Mm. Right, so that's uh, Valdemossa, the old town, the touristy bit. Really enjoyed that. Nice ice cream. Mrs. Flyer's got a higher helmet on, which looks pretty cool, actually, I have to say. But the reason why I ran the camera was just to show you this old bike. Look at this. An old Beamer. I'm not even sure what it is. K1200 RS. Very nice. Looks good. Shaft drive. Still looks good, doesn't it? Right. Talking of big beasts, let's get this one back on the road. Alrighty, we are off. Let's hope the uh, GoPro is uh, playing ball on sound. Because otherwise I won't be able to say cheerio to you. So let's have a look at the signs. Sawyer, this way, that'll do. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed our little uh, trip out today here on Mallorca. A lovely island, as hopefully you've seen. It's just starting to spit with rain now, actually. Good job we've got uh, semi-waterproof jackets on. But if you ever find yourself out here, I do thoroughly recommend a two-wheel exploration. It's a great way to see the island. And it just means you can get to places you couldn't otherwise get to with a car. Alrighty, we've got to take this uh, little Vespa 300 GTS back to the higher place. Thoroughly enjoyed riding it. Great little bike. Never been on a genuine Vespa before. And uh, 300cc just seems about the right size for this because it means you can, you know, get around, keep up with traffic, overtake. Really easy to ride, great to carry stuff in the top box and under the seat. Thoroughly enjoyed being on it. Anyway, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. and Flyer. Cheerio.